Hey guys, Daniel, welcome to this video. It's just a quick one. I'll show you how to get a second layer of buttons on your steering wheel. Okay, so what does that mean? Basically, you push one button and then you have access to uh, new functions on the wheel. It's a, basically a built-in function in iRacing. I accidentally found this out when I did some calibration, um, like assigned a few buttons. I don't know if you know it, judging the reactions from chat when I always talk about this, not a lot of people know about it. So if you run out of buttons on your wheel, this might be for you. And how you do it is... It's actually super, super easy. So let's say you want to adjust, uh, you want to put the brake bias to this encoder. So choose the control. Okay, you just do it regularly. Left and right. Okay, that's it. And then, for example, you want to have traction control as well, but you don't have a spare encoder. What you can do is like sacrifice one button on your wheel to to access a second layer of functions. So for example, I will use this, uh, this button here. And what you do is you push this one and then you just do the same thing with the encoder. And as you can see now, it says device one button 13, 22. That does not mean button 13 or 22, but both buttons at the same time. So this is for increase. Shouldn't it give me like the same for decrease? Right, increase. Done, decrease, same thing, other direction. Now we have 12, 22, done. And now when you're in the car, if I go to the black box where we can see this here, you can see when I turn the encoder now, uh, the brake bias changes. And if I press the button and use the encoder, the traction control changes. Super useful for, for the black box as well. Especially if you don't have a funky switch. For example, I'll show you what I do, like with this wheel. Um, so you can, for example, select next control. I use the stump encoder, select previous control. Increment is a button and a thumb encoder. Decrement, same thing, button and other direction of the thumb encoder. And toggle is just the button. And what happens now if I... Let's quickly drive a little further so we don't get the pit stop. Uh, if I use the thumb encoder without the button, I can just go through the values. If I use the second layer button, it toggles the values. And if I hold the second layer button and use the thumb encoder, I can change the value. I mean, obviously, you got to be a little bit careful with the, uh, with the button you use for the second function. For example, it should not be like something that changes stuff in the car. So I would not, for example, use a traction control toggle or something. Use a button that it's not as bad if you uh, use it, like flashing. No, don't do that. <laughs> For example, I don't know, like toggling the display of this this black box thing here on the, on the left side or something. Or just use a button that you don't use for anything. But yeah, basically now I can do all the black box operations with just one button and one encoder. And like, for example, fuel or and then begin fueling. Stuff like that. I think it's really useful. I never knew uh, that that existed on iRacing. So if you really, if you have a problem with inputs on your wheel, I mean, this wheel has like 2000 buttons, so it's not really an issue, but especially like, for example, if you have a Logitech G27 or something with not a lot of buttons, this could be really useful because yeah, second layer where you can just put on whatever you want. Unfortunately, it does not work with access. I was thinking about maybe using the dual clutch, you know, like if I push the button and then use the clutches that I could use it for starts and then use the clutches for look left, right or something like that. Uh, that would be possible with VJoy, but yeah, VJoy sometimes gives some issues. Maybe I'll make a guide about that in the future. But VJoy for some people, I mean, I never had issues with it, but for some people it just broke the PC. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. So you can you can even like do three buttons at the same time, but I would not recommend doing that uh, because yeah, you still have to race the car, right? So <laughs> yeah, give it a try. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.